Joining me now from, uh, on Skype from Lagos is a public health consultant, Nse Abasi Ekanem. Now, Dr. Ekanem, it's good to have you join me right now. Now, the Nigerians are really concerned with the numbers that are increasing. In fact, the last 24 hours has seen the highest increase in the numbers so far since the beginning of COVID-19. And uh, what could be responsible for this is when Lagos especially is on lockdown. Lagos is, uh, and Abuja is, uh, are some of the places on lockdown, and they have the highest numbers of increase and numbers. Talk to us about this. Okay. Well, um, the increase in the number of cases uh, really doesn't reflect the fact that um, uh, we have any imported case, but uh, it, uh, it goes to show that we have a lot of uh, community uh, transmission that's person to person within the country. And uh, of course, this is because uh, in spite of the efforts made by government, particularly the government of Lagos and Abuja and, you know, some other states, uh, people are still uh, going against uh, the rule uh, to uh, organize uh, ceremonies, uh, move around and, uh, you know, still attend places, uh, occasions where a large number of people are. And that is why we are keep uh, we, we keep seeing the cases. Um, of course, again, uh, I said earlier on, I think um, some uh, my interview some days ago that uh, when we increase our testing capacity, we are going to see more cases uh, because uh, we already have a number of cases, but uh, some of these cases haven't been tested yet. And of course, as we increase our testing capacities, we are going to see more cases. But what we are saying is. At this point, it is necessary that all of us, uh, we as Nigerians, cooperate towards, uh, you know, uh, stopping the spread, the community spread of COVID-19 in Nigeria. Uh, we still see some uh, cases where people still organize burial ceremonies these days. It, it, it's, for me, it's quite, quite, uh, you know, pathetic. You go to some cities, you still see uh, commercial activities going on. You know, people are still moving out of their homes. The, 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 the fact that we need to stay at home cannot be overemphasized. We are saying that when we stay at home, we, are, we can be able to stop the spread of the virus from one person to the other. And then for those of us staying at home, we, if we observe symptoms, we can be taken care of properly rather than spread the virus to other people living around us, whether our family members or people living within the same community. So uh, as much as we are... Uh, uh, you know, seeing the cases, we need to understand the fact that it is time for us to, if, if not before, but now, we need to observe the precautionary measures. These are the measures that have been stipulated by NCDC to, you know, prevent the spread of infection. It is simple. Stay at home, maintain hand and uh, prescription hygiene, and of course, try as much as possible to make sure you do not attend uh, mm -hmm. occasions where a lot of people are. So that we can, so that we can uh, you know contain the spread of the virus in Nigeria. If we do not abide by these uh, precautionary measures, I can only assure you that in the coming weeks we are going to see even more cases. I think at this time we need to abide strictly by these regulations. All right. Now uh, there is the contention as to who should go for testing. Is it the one who already has symptoms? or anyone should just wake up and check his status. What, what, what should be the case right here? Well, um, you know, a number of cases, over 70% of uh, COVID-19 cases are highly asymptomatic. A lot of people have recovered without even manifesting symptoms. But uh, I must say that even when symptoms are not fully manifested, uh, there they could be uh, transmission from one person to the other. Well, I, could, I would say that uh, as much as possible, uh, since we have limited capacity, everyone having the symptoms should be tested. And besides, people that have had contacts with people who have been confirmed to have COVID-19 should also be tested. People coming in from endemic areas, for instance, people coming from overseas, even people coming from Lagos. Now, Lagos is highly endemic. People coming from Lagos or, or traveling from Lagos to other states should also be tested. As a matter of fact, uh, people who have had contact with, uh, you know, people that ha are confirmed to have uh, been infected with COVID-19 should be tested. I, I really want to draw attention here. We've seen what is making the rounds on the internet, I mean, on the social media space. I mean, people who attended a burial conducted a few days ago. 
I will, I, I, for my own taking, I would say that everyone who attended that barrier should be quarantined. And people who attended similar barriers in the past All should right. be quarantined tested. So okay. that we can ensure that we do not spread this virus. All right. So Thank you. Has made contact with him confirmed. All right. We have to leave it here now. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Nse Abasi Ekanem, for your time on the program.